light broke. My ring light broke uh, Monday, actually. Monday was a not so great day for me, but my ring light ended up breaking and I had to get a new one. So basically, I went to go turn it on that morning. It came on, it was on for a little while. I was getting ready and then it just turned off and it wouldn't come back on. So, had to buy a new so, ring. To get me by, I've been using my little mirror that I always use and this lamp and I had it on top of this Harley Quinn pop figure and it works okay I mean it you know it does the job but this lamp is just not very bright and I really don't like this knob it's really hard to like turn the lamp on and off so it's just not a good setup so of course went ahead and got another ring light off of Amazon my last one was from Amazon too I think it was by UB size and it was really good but you know of course it broke so now I need a new one. So I went ahead and ordered this one off of Amazon. Um, I will leave the price kind of listed down below for you guys. I thought it was a pretty good deal. It looked a little bit more compact than the old one. Um, it also didn't look quite as tall. I really didn't need one that was that tall because I was mostly just using it for on top of my vanity. So I thought let's unbox my new ring light together and I can show you guys what it looks like. So let's open this up. So I look a bit crazy, but let's go ahead and open this box up from Amazon. Um, so we'll open it up over here. It shouldn't uh, need a knife or anything to open. It should just come right open. And there it goes. All right. So this time I ordered the Rhyme, Ryan. this is what it's spelled like, R-I-E-O-M-N, LED ring light, and this is model number R-I-0-1, so that's what it looks like. Now the box got a little damaged during shipping, but um, hopefully everything inside is intact, so let's hope so. Let's open this up and then there you can kind of see what it looks like. 10 inch LED ring light. And it does have the little spot for your phone um, that you can put your phone for filming because I do that a lot. All right, so let's check it out. So you got a little quick start guide. Looks pretty simple and easy of how to assemble it. Here we got the actual ring light. And then here we got the little stand and it's kind of weighted. And then all this stuff is in here pretty nice. It's like in a little divided kind of thing. So let's just kind of look and see how we put this together. So this part um, is gonna go basically screwed into here or just pop it in there, I guess. Let's see how this goes. Does it say screw? No, it says you just pop it in there. I guess that's about as far as it goes in. I guess. Oh, I got it in further. Okay, good. And I like how this one has kind of more of a like a little platform stand. And then this part here, it says you can unscrew it, I guess. Yeah, step two, unscrew this. Hmm, okay. Um, to attach the pad to it. Hmm. Let's try to figure this out together. So here's another piece. I think this is the pad so maybe this does stay on there I guess so let's put this back on because I don't think I was supposed to take it off <laughs> clearly I'm not following directions okay there we go got that back on here's the pad tilt this is the part that obviously tilts. 
So let's put that on. And then I think to get it to stay, oh, I gotta go put my lasagna in. I think to get it to stay, we might use that, but we'll find out, hang on. All right, I think I got the pad tilt on. Um, I'm gonna take just one second I'm going to try to see if I can get some of this assembled by myself so I don't have to have you guys on here uh, with me the whole time. So I will be right back. Right, so I have it pretty much assembled. I got the ring light. And then um, here's the little part where you press the buttons. So that's what that looks like. It's basically just like a little um, thing that you can press the buttons. I'll show you guys a little better once I'm up, you know, by the window and there's better lighting. Um, this little thing, you can kind of adjust this little ring light up and down like that. Uh, you can basically face it however you like. And so I'm going to leave mine like that. And then there's, here's the part for your phone. So this does kind of go like that. This is like bendy, so you can bend it however. You can also bend that part however. And so I'm just going to basically put it kind of like I had my old one. Um, I'm gonna first screw it in here and this will hold the phone. Um, they do give you, I think, an extra one of these. Um, and also it said you can take this part off, like the actual stick part and use it as a selfie stick if you want when you're out, which is kind of nice. Um, I don't think I'll probably be using that, but it's nice that there is the option. And then there we go. Pretty much got the phone uh, stand thing done. You can position it however you like. And there we are. So let's go ahead and plug it in, see how it looks. All right, so just plugging this into my little power brick part. And then I'll go ahead and put this down my little hole on my vanity. I'll show you guys in just a minute. So obviously I need to dust up here, but you can kind of see what it looks like there. So there is my ring light. And then this part down here kind of fell down in there. The other one used to be a little bit longer. So I have to find a way to kind of finagle this because I need this to turn the whole thing on and off. So. I don't know how I'm gonna do that, but I guess for now, I'll just leave it like this. So here we have the power button. So let's turn it on. All right, there we go. All right, and then um, this is a, this button here. You can make it less bright, more bright. And these I think are the like cycles of the color shade. Like, do you want it warm, cool? So this one looks about how I had it. It comes across way, way more warm on camera, but you can make it less bright or you can make it more bright. Let's see. I think that's the brightest. You can change the color. So that one's really warm. That one is like almost a bluish, like cool tone. And that I think is the daytime. So you have those three options. So I'm actually think I'm gonna just leave it on the daytime, but I don't like it too bright because I get ready in the morning and it's like dark in here. So I don't want it to be too light, but that's what it looks like. So I think that looks really cool. And then this is where my phone would go, which, you know, I would show you guys, but I'm recording with my phone. And then, so how I usually do this is I'll usually have my little um, things like that. And then I do have some stuff I need to put away and clean up on my vanity, but that's what it looks like. So I really like it. I think that looks really good especially for the price. Let me know what you guys think. It is nice that it has the three, three different shades you can choose from. 
And I also like that it's not quite as bulky down at the bottom like my old one used to be. In fact, you can even set something here, like on that little thing if you wanted to, you know, like a little figure. Um, I don't know, you could set pretty much whatever you want to set there. So that's really nice. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I just wanted to show you guys my new ring light. Um, I'll be using it in, of course, my future upcoming videos. So let me know if you guys think it looks better. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye, guys.